Hi, it's Angeline here. I hope you're doing well. Today, I have a fun crafty video with Unity STEM and I'm going to show you how to use the color burst and liquid metals. So first, these beautiful tulips are from Gracely Design called Be Unstoppable. And I'm grabbing some Can Oliver liquid metals and color burst here. Starting off with the Caribbean Bright color burst here. And I've got this cute cloud palette that I found in my local thrift store and I'm using that as my palette today. So these color bursts are actually pigmented powders so I'm just going to be sprinkling some onto my cute little cloud here and as you can see I'm just sprinkling a little bit because a little goes a long way. So I'm using a water brush here to wet the color burst powders. As you can see, the colors are so intense that just one drop of purple kind of contaminated my green. So I'm just sprinkling more here to get more of the lighter green. And just using my water brush, I'm just starting off with the lightest green here and just coloring in all the leaves. And I'm grabbing some darker green here just to add some shadings. For the tulips, I'm starting off with the red here. You can add more color to blend the colors together. And I'm just adding more orange and also some purples. And just with water, everything will magically kind of mix together really nice like watercolors. So just have fun and play with your color brush and see all kinds of color combinations that you can paint. Next, I'm going to be playing with these Liquid Muggles by Ken Oliver as well. And we've grabbed the Crafter Workshop Daisy Caster here on some white cardstock. And we're just shaking up the Liquid Metals really well because the metal particles are right at the bottom. So you kind of shake it up before you put it on your cardstock. So I'm just dripping some dots on the top of the stencil. And I'm just using all the colors in the set because they're all so pretty. And I'm also grabbing some water to just spritz and make the colors blend together. And also adding more of this liquid metals platinum for a more pearlescent look. As if there's not enough glitter or bling on the card, right? But it doesn't hurt. So I'm just going to uh, spritz a little bit more water. You don't want to add too much because the water will go underneath the stencil and ruin the design. So I'm grabbing a paper towel here and just rolling it on top of the stencil. Look at how pigmented the colors are. And I'm also just dabbing all the excess water from my card before removing the stencil to reveal this beautiful background that I've just created using some liquid metals. Just check out how shiny that is. Now it's time to assemble the card, so I'm just adhering the tulips right at the bottom of my card using some Simon Say Stamp Tacky Glue here and just putting some foam adhesive right at the back of my sentiment to just pop it up. So here is my finished card. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip technique today and do try it out for yourself. Thanks for watching. Bye!